Sonnet 31 with How Sad Steps by Sir Philip Sidney 1554-1586 With how sad steps, O moon, thou climb'st the skies How silently and with how wan a face what may it be that even in heavenly place that busy archer his sharp arrow tries? Sure, if that long with love acquainted eyes can judge of love, thou feel'st a lover's case. I read it in thy looks, thy languished grace, to me that feel the like thy state describe. Then even of fellowship, O moon, tell me, Is constant love deemed there but want of wit? Are beauties there as proud as here they be? Do they above love to be loved, and yet Those lovers scorned whom that love doth possess? Do they call virtue there ungrateful? Okay, so this poem is by Philip Sidney. He's an Elizabethan poet, um, author, and he was a soldier and a courtier as well of Queen Elizabeth I. Um, so, what's this about? Okay, this sonnet is from a series of uh, sonnets about Astrophil and Stella. And Astrophil is passionately in love with Stella. Yeah, and these uh, sonnets, these poems are about how much he's in love with her. And this sonnet itself is describing Astrophil's thoughts while actually looking at the moon uh, at night. Okay, so let's see. With how sad steps, O moon, Thou climbst the skies. So it looks like the, the moon is climbing with steps one at a time, sadly into the, into the sky. How silently and with how wan a face. So wan here means pale. So he's saying that the, uh, uh, love, the, the moon looks sad. And this is an example of a uh, pathetic fallacy. Yeah, um, notice this whole poem is written in iambic pentameter. That's the rhythm. Okay, well the rhyme. So, how si how silently and with how one a face. So, he's he's saying that he's watching the moon climbing into the sky, and it looks pale and and uh, wan and unhappy. What may it be that even in heavenly place that busy archer his sharp arrows try? So here, the sharp arrows, the archer and the sharp arrows, this is talking about Cupid. So may it be that even in heaven, Cupid, Cupid is shooting his arrows. So, um... In heaven, do people fall in love in heaven? To me, it looks like uh, uh, people have f uh, uh, fall in love in heaven. Yeah? Uh, sure, if that long with love acquainted eyes can judge of love, thou feel'st a lover's case. So, um... Here he, he's, he's saying that he thinks that uh, the moon is in love as well. He's looking at the moon and uh, he's saying my eyes are uh, know love very well and I can judge and I'm sure thou, you, um, are lovesick and you are looking melancholy and sad because of love. Yeah, and I read it in thy looks. 
So the look of the moon, it, looking at the moon, it tells me that the moon is in love. Yeah, and uh, the moon is uh, rather sad about it as well. It doesn't know uh, maybe what, um, how, how to proceed. Thy languished grace to me that feel like thy state describes. So, um, languished. If you languish, you're um, de depressed, staying in a place, um, down. So, the grace of the moon, the beauty of the moon, or the, this sad uh, look that the moon has, um, shows shows me that um, you 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 are in love and sad or pensive about it. So thy state descries, to descry here, reveals, shows to me. So the truth of what I'm saying is shown by the state, by the look of you. And then this starts to change and he starts maybe to be a little bit more bitter. Yeah, and these are more his reflections about love. Then even of fellowship, moon tell me, is constant love there? Is constant love deemed there but want of wit? So as we're companions in the same boat, moon, please tell me, is to be uh, lovesick in some in love with someone deemed a uh, thought to be a lack of intelligence, a want of wit, wits, brains. So if you're desperately in love with someone, is 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 in the heavens, is it like that where you live where um your you could be your uh, thought to be a bit stupid, yeah? Are beauties there as proud as here they be? So are the beautiful women in the heaven as proud uh, in in the heavens as they are here on earth as they be a nice present subjunctive um so yes uh do 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 um do the beautiful women or the, does the woman that you're in love with think uh, that uh she is she is better than you that you are um not good enough for her do they above love to be loved, and yet those lovers scorn whom that love doth possess? So do the, do the beautiful women in heaven, does the woman that you love like to be loved, but scorn, but have a bad opinion of the person who loves them? Okay, so he, he, he's expressing a feeling that um uh uh stella she loves to have people loving her but she has a very also has a very low opinion of people who are in love with her do they call virtue there ungrate ungratefulness so here he say, he's saying that he feels that love is a virtue that constant love is a virtue but he thinks that Stella doesn't feel the same way, doesn't feel the value of um, virtue and constant love. So I think this is uh, about is effectively looking at the moon. It's giving the moon a character of uh, a lovesick person, which is pathetic fallacy, and um, he th he then goes with with some reflections about uh, love. So enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. With How Sad Steps by Sir Philip Sidney.